We business owners are likely facing one of two realities right now. Either our business has slowed down, or for some of us it's even stopped, or we're so busy that we're just running around like crazy trying to keep up. Regardless of whether you're busy or slow, that does not, I've noticed it hasn't dictated how people are feeling. I've seen business owners who are busy, who are distraught and upset and stressed out. And I've also seen businesses that are slow or have even stopped and they're encouraged and they're using this time to grow. So what is the difference between the two? Well, number one, the busyness comes from either you were in the right industry at the right time, or it's just from scrappiness. It's from just digging in and doing what needs to be done. So I hope the, you can see the number one thing that is the common thread among not only the busy ones, but the successful ones with the good attitude. So if you think about it as business owners, what is the barrier to entry of starting your own business? It really is just saying, I'm starting my own business. I mean, even before you do the paperwork, you can start a new business. And those of us who are behind entrepreneurs, we love the entrepreneurial spirit. We want people to succeed. I mean, we want you to succeed. We want everyone to come with us. But the harsh reality is, is that not everyone's gonna make it through. A lot of us have had our own businesses through a number of you know, financial disasters. I, I'll say too, like for my husband and I, we started in real estate during a recession. And then we went through the 2008 to, you know, the 2007, 2008 recession. And, um, you know, we, you know, pushed through that. We did change industries. I mean, it, we'll come out of it and just say like it killed us, but there's so much that I learned and I am, I, you know, I can see the difference. I can see the difference and the difference is you. If you are a business owner, you are the difference between whether or not your business is going to succeed or if it's going to drop off. If you want to succeed, I want you to succeed as well. Just know that right now, if you're busy and you're stressed out and you don't have a good attitude, this is a long-term play. And so if you get, you got to get your mind right. I want you to make it through this. I want you to get stronger. And I mean it. And if you're slow or if your business is slow, regardless of how you feel right now, you can make as you can change it. You can either do more of what you're doing if what you're doing is moving you forward, or you can completely do a 180 and change things for yourself. There is not a reason in this world that you cannot pull up your bootstraps, or like we say, put your big girl panties on and get out there and make it happen. But you're not gonna be able to do it alone. And that I guarantee, you need to be getting out there and I'm living this. So, I mean, I'm eating my own cooking as um, one of my mentors always tells me, Phil. And with that, you need to find somebody to help you. You need to find someone to work with you. I have multiple people who I work with because that's what it takes. It's all hands on deck. We have a mastermind that you can plug into. I consult and I can just, I can work right alongside you and help you. I am, I am extremely savvy at marketing and creative shifts. So if you need any help at all, you can just get, I will give you 45 minutes of my time, but you have to be a business owner and you have to be forward thinking. Or if you don't have a business yet and you have an innovation you want to launch, still talk to me. Um, regardless, take action now. If you know that this is you, if I'm talking right now and you're like, ah, that's me. If you wait, don't call me. Like if you do not take action, we're not a good fit because I... I see it and everybody that I respect, they see it too and they're the same way. If you put off taking action, you're going to regret it and that stresses me out. Like if someone's talking to me about regret or what they should be doing, I don't have time for that and you don't either. So stop using your time for that. Take action, whether it's with myself or with someone else, but I would love to help you. So reach out, let's just take 45 minutes. What's it gonna hurt? I'll probably give you at least a couple good ideas. That's the worst case scenario. Um, but regardless, let's do it. Let's work, work through this together and see if, if you're overwhelmed. I, if I can't help you, I will give you ways to get help because you cannot do this alone. So let's get this thing done.